Hi guys and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now for this week's tutorial we are going to be making this adorable and colourful 100% edible rainbow cake topper complete with bears. I guide you through everything you need to know step by step. This has then been placed on a decorated cake drum and then you would simply place this directly on top of your decorated cake. Remember, there will be new content added to the channel on a regular basis. And with 148 completely free tutorials already available, there is something on there for everyone. Happy baking, guys. and Let's make a start. Start by measuring out 50 grams of Rice Krispies, 100 grams of marshmallows and place some butter in a saucepan. Off camera, I'm going to melt these marshmallows in this saucepan and the butter will help prevent it from burning. Do this on a very, very low heat and constantly stir. Pour your Rice Krispies into the melted marshmallows and stir until it is all incorporated. We are now going to add the Rice Krispie Treat mixture to a greased 6 inch round cake tin. Start by placing all of the Rice Krispie Treats in there, but you will notice I have a spoon with some butter on just to one side. I will use this to grease my hands in order to be able to push those Rice Krispies deep into the tin. This helps you work with Rice Krispie Treats an awful lot easier. You then want to place this directly into the fridge and just allow it to set slightly. Now this hasn't been in the fridge for too long so it's still quite soft and pliable and that's because I'm wanting to cut out the centre and put a little bit away. So the first job is to take it away from the tin so for this I just use a sharp knife but as long as you have greased it really well you shouldn't have any issues getting the base of the tin away from the Rice Krispie Treats. Using a circle cutter I cut straight into the Rice Krispies and then again using my sharp knife make sure it's cut away correctly. And finally I cut away the bottom edges so that I have a rainbow shape. This then gets placed back into the tin as it is still quite soft and I also place on there the actual circle cutter just to help it keep its shape. I allow this to stay in the fridge until it's completely set. Using some buttercream, I now cover all of the rainbow, both the front, the back and the sides, just so that it has a lovely smooth finish. You will find a link to my buttercream recipe in the description below this video. When you have finished covering all of the rainbow, simply place this in the fridge just to allow the buttercream to set. The buttercream will also act as a natural glue when we apply the fondant. Once this is completely set, we can now add the fondant strip. So here I have rolled out some red fondant and I simply place this over the top of my rainbow. With a sharp knife, I then cut off any excess. I repeat this process with the purple fondant, but I use this on the underside of the rainbow. Now, using simple sausage shapes, simply apply this to the rainbow, so one at a time. So I start with purple, and then I cut off the excess at the bottom. I then repeat that process but this time with the colour blue and I also add some edible glue to the purple sausage that I added previously. Again just a simple sausage shape just like you can see me roll out here and this time we're adding green. Remember to add just a small amount of edible glue to the blue sausage that you added previously. And quite simply, you just want to repeat this process with yellow, orange. Remember to keep on adding that edible glue. And then finally, just for the outside, red. A very simple, easy way to do it. Leave your rainbow to now dry 
and then repeat this on the other side. So once your rainbow is completely set, I would advise leaving it overnight. We're going to apply it to a decorated cake drum. So the fondant on this drum has been left to dry, but I'm adding two fresh balls of fondant, as you can see here. Now, these are going to be the support for my rainbow. I'm simply going to use my fingers to push in some indentations and then place the rainbow directly on there. I will then disguise these two balls that are actually supporting the rainbow by rolling out some very, very, very small pieces of fondant and completely covering them with tiny, tiny balls of white fondant just to give the impression of clouds. And this is the sort of effect that you are aiming to achieve. I actually find it very therapeutic making clouds, but it's such a simple technique, but extremely striking. We can now move on to making those bears. Start by rolling out four even sized balls. Mine are in grey. We are then going to be turning them into small feet by pushing down one end. Repeat this for all four of the ball shapes. Using a ball to add an indentation into the end of each foot. In order to help support these, now place a very small amount of spaghetti directly along the base of each foot. This will just prevent them from flopping as they are going to be hanging off the sides of the rainbow. Start by placing some edible glue directly on top of the rainbow and then simply place the feet directly on there. You can adjust these once they are on and just let them hang over the rainbow slightly to give them a bit more of a gravity defying effect. The spaghetti will support this for you. Taking two balls of fondant the same size, simply roll these into cone shapes. These are going to be for the body of the bear. Using a small amount of edible glue, place them directly on top of your rainbow and get them into place just how you want them. Finally, add a small amount of spaghetti to the centre of each one and this will help support the head. Taking two balls of fondant, simply add the heads using a small amount of edible glue. You can shake these more once they are on the actual rainbow and the spaghetti will help to hold them in place. For the ears, all you need are two large balls of the darker grey and two lighter grey balls. And if you just use a ball tool to gently push an indentation to each one, add the lighter coloured grey with a small amount of edible glue and then cut these in half, you will have four identical ears, very easy to make, very basic shapes that you can just apply directly to your bears. Using a lighter coloured grey, I now add these to all four of the feet where we place that indentation right at the beginning. In order to add a bit more detail to our Teddy's tummy, I take another small ball of the light grey, add a small amount of edible glue and using my fingers, I just shape this directly onto the teddy bear. You can see here I have already made the arms for the one on the left. Very simple shapes again. So start off with the ball of fondant and then you just want to roll this into a cone-like shape. It really is as simple as that. And using a small amount of edible glue, this can then be wrapped around your teddy bear. And for the final finishing touches, now I've chosen to add a couple of bows using a Karen Davis mold, but it's not essential. I'm just going to show you how to do the nose and the eyes. So the nose is very simple. Start with the ball shape and then again roll this into more of a cone-like shape in black. Place this directly onto your teddy bear. 
You then want two small pieces of round white fondant. Place this directly onto the teddy bear and push it down. And finally, two very, very, very tiny pieces of black fondant. But if you put the black into the corner of the eyes, it will appear as though they are looking at each other. And it really is as easy as that. Happy baking, everyone. I do hope I have helped you again today. And I will be back soon with more new, completely free content. Thank you all for your amazing support. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and well, and I will be back soon.